Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about men's wallets and choosing the right type of billfold. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, please click on the like right below. And finally, we're going to link you to articles below which are going to be useful and are going to help you expand and learn more about men's style. So go ahead and click on any of the articles below and you're going to be navigated to websites which will teach you more about men's style. Okay, so this is a question that came in. Antonio, do you have any suggestions in terms of wallets? I tend to wear pants a lot and in some cases, the eventual wear of the wallet is visible on the back. Are there any brands or types that have a high amount of carrying capacity but are still slim and not visible? Thank you. All right, that's kind of a trick question and I'm going to use a little bit of an analogy here. So. In 1997, I bought my first vehicle, a Chevy half-ton pickup. Oh, it's a great truck. I still have it to this day. Love it. And it did everything I needed as a young Marine officer moving across the country. I could throw everything I owned in the back and be able to travel around. I also picked up a motorcycle. That was you know, great too because it fit in the back of the truck and I used that because it got, got much better gas mileage than the truck and it had a much lower profile. Now I have a family. I've got three kids and a beautiful wife. And neither of those vehicles are haul around my family. In fact, the motorcycle is gone. I, I don't even, I'm not even on a bike anymore. What we have is a minivan because it suits our needs. Now, what does that have to do with wallets? Well, think about it with wallets. You have different needs and you're going to need different wallets to suit those needs. And there isn't a wallet that has a huge amount of carrying capacity that is almost invisible. It, it just can't happen. But what I will tell you is that the bigger you, the wallet you have, the more you're going to stuff into it. And so I suggest most men actually, the first thing that they should have and one thing that they should try to use more of is a billfold. And I'm sorry, you know, you Texas A&M fans, don't get scared. Don't run off to the SEC. Oh, wait, you already did. But no, see, it's Texas Longhorn there. <laughs> no, I've known a lot of great Aggies, served with many in the Marine Corps. But uh, now here you can see my billfold, or I'm sorry, my, uh, my money clip. And what I've got here, of course, is my money. And I've got my driver's license and a credit card. And this goes in my front pocket and I'm going to put it right there. It stays out of the way, doesn't have much of a profile. And that's the best way to not get a mark on the back of your pants because you do not want to have the George Costanza wallet. It just do a search, you're going to see the image of the George Costanza wallet. No, you do not want that. What you want is a classic wallet. This is what I use whenever I'm wearing jeans, denim, and I need to carry around a basic amount. Uh, you know, it's not a huge wallet here. You can see I, I carry a very minimal amount. Two credit cards, my ID, a few, you know, probably about $100 cash. And what else do I have? Oh, I always have business cards always have business cards in your wallet. Maybe only five. You know, these are when you don't expect to meet somebody and you want to give them some way to stay in touch with you. Unless you've got an iPhone with bump and chances are that person doesn't, business cards are still useful. So that would be the other item you want to have. Now, if you travel a lot and you travel in a suit, I would recommend having a very thin passport wallet. Now, these are really nice because they've got room for a credit card and room for your passport and that's it. And these fit very nicely right here and they don't put a whole lot of bulk on you and you keep them small. Now, if you're traveling a lot and you're not necessarily in a suit, let's say you're in a little bit more casual gear and you don't want to go for a wallet like that and you actually need to carry a bit more, you can go for a three-fold wallet. And most of my wallets are made by Samsonite, by the way, good company. I think, I mean, they specialize in making this. And this one right here is more casual. It's made from a uh, lighter material. I used to use this one whenever I would travel very casually a number of years ago. And, uh, you know, it not only will fit a passport, you can put your driver's license, you can put multiple other pieces of paper, your ticket, a few dollars, uh, various amounts of money. Okay, now that I travel with a family and I carry quite a bit. I carry not only my passport, but my kids' passports, my wife's passport, multiple tickets, uh, you know, I, I don't know, baby pacifiers. No, actually, they don't fit in this. But you can see this is my big travel wallet and it, it's, it looks nice. It uh, holds a lot of information, credit cards, passports. It's got zippers. So if I want to carry some loose change or I've got, you know, something small, I actually, uh, 
use a carry SIM cards in it whenever I'm traveling to countries in which I've got a phone that you know I want to be able to work and instantly be able to put a SIM card into. So what I'm getting at and the analogy I used in the beginning is that there isn't going to be one wallet that fits all of your needs if you have a wide variety of needs. So invest in a wide variety of wallets and use them as you see fit. Nowadays, I pretty much use Again, this wallet right here, my money clip, and occasionally when we travel, I use this one. I will say these big wallets though, you gotta be careful because you're gonna find that you're not used to using something this big and you may, and I have done this numerous times, I've left it on the ticket counter, walked away, probably gotten, I don't know, maybe 50 feet and realized, oh, you know, oh my gosh, I left the wallet, run back, Every time it's been there, I've been very fortunate. But you probably want to, uh, one thing that was really nice about this casual wallet is it had a land, you know, basically a string that I could just put this thing around my neck. And I know it looks silly, but it's a lot, I don't mind looking silly and always having my wallet on me versus looking great and losing all of my money and all of my ideas, IDs and having to cancel my trip. Okay, so hopefully that answers the question. And I wish you the best of luck with uh, whatever wallet you decide to pick up. Final advice, again, go with as small of a wallet as you can because the bigger wallet you get, the more you're going to put into it, the more you're going to stuff into it. Keep it small, keep it light, and you'll find that that pretty much all you need, ID, some cash, a credit card. Th that's it. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.